What's up, YouTube? This is Two Raw Four TV. So, once again, Giannis Antetokounmpo is receiving hate from uh, an NBA player. And the thing about Giannis is, it don't matter if it's an older school, old school player, uh, current player. It don't matter. It, it comes from everybody, perimeter players, post players. It comes from all angles. You know, you got guys who were known for their physicality in the post that think that they would just beat Giannis up. And then you got guys who are perimeter players from either the past or now who secretly don't respect big men, who don't respect Giannis's game. For some reason, they just think that he's this... He, he sort of gets the Wilt Chamberlain treatment in some ways, man. Like, people just look at him as this big seven-footer who's just dunking a basketball. He don't have a high basketball IQ. And so, therefore, you know, he's never going to be really successful. Even though he's a two-time league MVP. Even though he's won a championship the first in 50 years. But Sam Mitchell, a uh, former NBA player, a uh, long-time player with the, I think he was with the, the Timberwolves, I think it was, uh, for a great stretch of his career. He said that, in his opinion, Anthony Davis is more valuable than Giannis. And, and the reason why he feels that way is that, come playoff time, Anthony Davis is a more reliable free throw shooter and outside shooter. Now, one thing I do agree with him on is that Giannis has to get more consistent from the foul line. Um, Anthony Davis is something like a... I want to say a 79% career free throw shooter. Let me check that out right quick. Anthony Davis. Let's look at his numbers. Yeah, he's 79.3% from the charity stripe. While Giannis is 70.8%. So that's significantly... I mean, I know some people are like, oh, it's only 8.5 points. No, it's, that's a big difference. And not only that, Giannis is a lot more streaky. While AD generally will shoot well. You know, he'll shoot on any given night 5 for 7, 6 of 9, 7 of 10. Uh, on a hot night, maybe 8 of 8. Giannis can have horrible shack like nights. Some nights when he has a stroke going, when the mechanics are flowing for him, when he's confident also, you know, he he might shoot well. Seventeen or twenty on one of those nights when he's really getting to the line. But then he might have a night where he shoots nine of twenty. So that is something that I agree with. But this outside shooting thing, I think A D S reputation precedes him. When it comes to, well, that's not the right way I want to say it. 80s perception, the perception of 80 doesn't match the reality. I think that's a better way of putting it. One year, if I'm not mistaken, now maybe it changed at the end of the year, but you remember that year? I think it was 2001, 2002, uh, 2021, 22. Remember that year? Anthony Davis had the worst field goal percentage of any starting player from mid-range. Remember that? And I don't know exactly what he shot from mid-range last year. Maybe marginally better. But he has not been a good three-point shooter since the bubble. And his best year from the charity stripe, I think, was 34%. That was his best year, which is not stellar. That's not even league average. So, this notion that he just is, is just this marksman. I mean, I know he hit the series winning shot against Denver as a three, you know, from a three ball, but let me see. Giannis's rookie year, he shot 34.7% from three. 
Um, other than that, he's generally been around 30%. So, Giannis is a 28.7% career three-point shooter. And Anthony Davis is a 30% career three-point shooter. So, they're both terrible. And last year, Anthony Davis shot 25.7%. From three, so I don't understand this notion that he's this great three-point shooter when the numbers don't indicate that. Um, and also, twenty-five point nine points, twelve point five rebounds, two point six assists. Giannis last year, thirty-one point one points, eleven point eight rebounds, five point seven assists. So Giannis. Scoring more points, getting more assists, uh, rebounding at almost the same clip. I, I'm just not understanding this. And let's see something. Since Anthony Davis has joined the Lakers, 2019-2020, he's been averaging 24.6 points, 10.1 rebounds, 3 assists, 1.3 steals, 2.1 blocks, 52.4% shooting from the floor, 28.1% from three-point range, and 78.8% from the charity strike. Now, uh, let's look at the same period of time since 2019-2020. For Giannis, 29.7 points, 12 rebounds, 5.7 assists, one steal, 1.1 block, 55.7% shooting from the floor, 29.6% from three-point range, and 67.2% from the charity strike. So the only edge that AD has over Giannis since 2019-20 are blocks per game and free throw percentage. Giannis scores better, uh, more efficiently, actually shoots better from outside, as strange as that is, since 2019, Tony's been a better rebounder, a better passer, and a better defensive player, in my opinion. Now, you could argue that AD is a better post defender, you know, and a better rim protector, but do people remember that Giannis has a defensive player of the year award? Um, I don't think Anthony Davis has a defensive player of the year award. I'll double check that, but I don't think he does. Let's look at Anthony Davis's resume. I don't recall him winning that award. And he didn't. So that's just my take on this, man. You know, another person, another NBA player slandering Giannis, and their points really not matching up to reality.